Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Miss Diva All the Time. I know, I know it has been a little while since I got on here and did a video. Um, y'all know I was on here talking about my pregnancy journey last year. Well, you know, my beautiful daughter, she is here. She was born 10, 10, 23. And I have so many videos to get caught up on about my baby. She's gone with her grandmother right now to church. So I'm here by myself. And this video isn't about my baby, not this video, y'all. But I'm going to make some videos about her and her process, her little journey. Because it's definitely a journey. But y'all, yeah, long story short, the Lord, the Lord knows how to get your attention. He knows exactly what to do to bring you back in and get closer to him in every step of the way. So long story short, the past week I was sick again. The doctor's thinking it was food poisoning. I do too because I had made a chopped cheese sandwich. They're very popular in New York. You get hamburger meat, you chop it up, you take American sliced cheese, and you just throw it on the top of the hamburger meat when it get done and stuff. And you have like bell pepper onions, and then you can put mayo on your bread and tomatoes and lettuce, whatever. So I cooked the, I cooked the hamburger meat and soon as I cooked it, y'all, I got sick. I immediately started throwing up. And my stomach is sensitive. So if I eat something and immediately throw up after, afterwards, I know for sure it was the meat or whatever I ate. So long story short, I ended up getting sick. I couldn't eat. I couldn't drink. Once again, y'all know I go I've been having stomach problems since I was a baby. But I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink, I couldn't nothing. All I could do was throw up. It made me of when I was pregnant, my first trimester. So, I just, I started praying. I said, Lord, if you just give me my health and strength back once again for the millionth time, I promise you I'm going to eat. All the things I supposed to eat. So what I did was <clears throat> now see I wanted to just do the watermelon fast. I was gonna just eat nothing but watermelon watermelon for a week or two. And I'm still gonna do it. But long story short, I got a long, long story short, a lot of long story short, y'all. So I had somebody um I had posted on my Facebook that I had just got out of the hospital and stuff like that. And somebody had went on my, um, somebody I know, they was like, you want me to um, get something for you? I said, yeah, make sure you get me a seeded watermelon. I made a video. I don't know if I'm going to post that video or that watermelon or not, but I'm still going to talk about it in this video just in case I don't post that video. I said, make sure it's seeded watermelon. Long story short, it was not a seeded watermelon. He got seedless. So I had to throw the whole watermelon away. Only got a little bit of watermelon left. Uh, my mom had got me a seeded watermelon when I got sick. And I got a little bit of that left. But tomorrow I got to go out and I'm going to buy some more seeded watermelon. But for now, I'm just showing y'all how I will be eating from here on out. I'm only doing fruit, organic fruit. And in this bowl... Y'all, the honey crisp apples are so uh -oh. the honey crisp apples are so good. I never really been no apple person. But these are delicious. It's the organic honey crisp apples. I have that in here. I have honey melon. I put one can of um, fruit cocktail in the bottom of this bowl, but it's in the fruit juice. It's not in syrup. I don't like the one in syrup. I like the one in fruit juice. But after that's gone, I won't get no more probably of that. And then I got peaches, the organic peaches. I have, um, what is in here? 
Mm. I have to finish peeling my orange. It's an organic orange. But y'all, we have to eat better. There's no way around it. There's no other way around it. You wondering why you got cancer popping up in your body. And all this stuff is going on with you. You getting this, you know, all just these sicknesses and illnesses. It's because all this processed bad food, y'all. We know we don't put to eat it. I knew I wasn't supposed to eat it and still was eating it. But this time is different for me because I got a daughter I'm living for. I got a daughter I got to be here to raise. Because I ain't want nobody raising my daughter but me. So it's different for me. Like I'm going extra hard with this because when I got sick this last time, all I wanted was so bad was to be able to get up. And I couldn't even get up. I just wanted to hold my baby, play with her, and I couldn't, and that killed me. So for that, this is super personal. Like, I have to do this. And that's how I feel like everybody should think. Like, when you got kids and stuff, like, but when you have, we have been trained and accustomed to all this crazy fake stuff in the world, it's like, you know how they say, when you know better, you do better? A lot of people don't know no better. We just following the matrix. Or however it goes. We just keep eating this processed food. They're showing these commercials of these chicken nuggets and different seasoned chicken wings and this and that. No, we don't supposed to have it. We are alive, so why are we not eating life? We alive, but eating death. You want to live, but you keep putting death and all this toxic stuff inside your body. No, we're not supposed to have it, y'all. So, and I'm not judging anybody because I'm just not starting getting back on my journey. And this is not easy. This ain't easy at all. I've been eating bad for, I'm 35. I've been eating bad for just, let's just say 35 years. But it's something I know I got to do. And I'm loving it. So y'all, it just, for me, I just want to eat better so I can be here to raise my daughter. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. I just want to be here so I can raise my daughter. And of course, I want to get closer with the Lord. You know, just thinking, like, I could, I could never eat no meat again. Like, just thinking about it. I was watching some man on YouTube. I don't know who it was, because I be watching so many videos. And he was talking about, um, how he was like, y'all, you so much love chicken. But you know, like, the chicken already be dead for about 30 days or more before it even get to you. And they have to, like, inject it with stuff and clean it up to make it look all pretty and put it in packaging in the grocery store make it look all fresh. But they done uh, cleaned it up and injected it with stuff just to make it plump and look pretty. But when he said that, when that man said, think about it. The chicken them been dead at least 30 days already before it got to you. I was like, no more meat for me. But anyway, y'all, this is just about an introduction video. I don't know if I sound clear in this video or how come, whatever. I just wanted to do it. Um, I'm going to start back doing my videos. The videos from here, y'all just going to be seeing me eating fruit and do a little chit chat and stuff with you. I'm going to also be showing my beautiful daughter, her journey. That's amazing. I can't wait to share that with y'all. But most of my videos from here, I want to focus on eating healthy and spreading, you know, trying to spread 
my little journey and get people to join me on my on my healthy eating journey. You know, so many people they be doing these mukbangs and I be seeing how they eating all this nasty, greasy fast food that's not good for us. That's not gonna be on my channel. You know, if that's what they want to do, that's them. I'm not judging anybody because I was just there a couple days, a few days ago, literally. I'm just now starting my um, journey. So, but thank y'all for watching my video. I, will, I might do another video later. I'm not sure. Um, This is what I'll be eating today. Just like I said, it's just a healthy organic fruit bowl. And I got a little watermelon left. Um, but I'm going to get some more tomorrow. But until next time, y'all. Y'all pray for me and I will pray for you. And I will talk to y'all next video. Don't remember. I said don't remember. Y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to y'all next time.